it's Nasha here and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about some products that I don't like, that I just do not like. Now, unfortunately, these products are from some of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands, but they just missed the mark with these products. <laughs> for me and for my hair. They missed the mark. We're gonna get into all of those products real soon, but first before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos usually twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so if you're subscribed, you didn't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this video. Really quickly, y'all, my hair is cute, isn't it? It's cute. I love it. Nice little protective style. I did a whole tutorial on this look, which it's not getting the views that I would like. I think it's a cute little hairstyle. It's a nice protective hairstyle. So definitely go ahead and clink this clink. <laughs> Go ahead and click this link right here so you can check out this tutorial. I use this Better Links Drawstring Ponytail and it looks so good, blends so well into my hair to the point where some of my friends and family didn't even know that it wasn't my hair, which I'm like, come on now, my hair is not this long yet. But anyways, make sure you check that video out. I have it down below in the description box as well. So let's just go ahead and get into this list of products that I do not like that are from some of my favorite brands, y'all. Not every product is created equally. Some of these brands, they be on a roll. They just, you know, throw up banger after banger after banger after banger after banger. And... <sighs> Then they throw out certain products and they just miss the mark completely. And this is not at all to bash these brands because like I said, these are my favorite brands. These are the brands that I talk about a lot. Y'all see here on YouTube a lot. But these products, they just didn't do anything for me. So the first brand that we're gonna get into is The Main Choice. Now y'all know I love me some The Main Choice. One of my favorite hair products of all time, all time is their 3-in-1 conditioner from their original line. The one that comes in the black and purple packaging. That's, that's bae. That is bae. They got some bomb leave-ins. They have some bomb gels that my hair loves. They have bomb deep conditioners. But these products right here, <laughs> they they not for me. The first product that we're gonna get into is this leave-in conditioner from the PAL collection. Now the PAL collection is one of their newer collections that they came out with this year. It was exclusively sold at Ulta, still is, I think, exclusively sold at Ulta. And I knew from the minute that I put this on my hair that I was not feeling it. It just didn't do anything for my hair. It just felt like I was just adding water, kind of, like a thick water. It just didn't do anything for my hair at all. And I knew when I did my hairstyle with the gel and I did the wash and go, and my wash and go didn't come out that great. I knew it was not the gel and I knew it was the leave-in. I don't know, it's something about it that my hair does not like. And I'm looking at the ingredients and there's nothing in here that is really calling out to me as like a product or an ingredient that my hair doesn't like. I don't know what it is, but I just did not like it. It just didn't do anything for my hair. I don't even know why I still have it. I need to give this away to somebody because um, I've had it so long that I can't really return it. Or can I? I don't think I can return it. But anyways... I need to give this away to somebody because I, I don't like it. So the rest of the products from the main choice, I'm actually going to have to put a picture of them right here because I either threw them away or I gave them away or I returned them. <laughs> I they, They're not in my possession anymore. So from the Prickly Pear Paradise collection, it was one of their smaller collections. I've tried the overnight mask, which I actually do like it. Um, it's not something that I really like have to grab for, but I did like it. It was good. And y'all keep telling me about the leave-in, that the leave-in is really good. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I've heard really good things and I do want to try that out. But 
these other products from that line. First is the Minty Scalp Purifying Spray, y'all. I thought the spray was gonna be amazing, especially for the days that I work out and my head is all sweaty and gross and I don't wanna, you know, co-wash my hair or wash my hair just because I don't have time or whatever. I thought that this would be a nice little product to just, you know, spray on my scalp, get it all nice and clean and purified and all that good stuff. But for whatever reason, it dries out my hair so bad. Ain't nothing like super dry roots because for me, my hair tangles at the root a lot. So if you dry out the roots, disaster. I, I don't like it. I really, really wanted it to work, but I just, it ain't for me. So then the next product is a product that I actually did review on my channel. And it is the Prickly Pear Curl Creator Styling Custard. That thing was awful. Absolutely awful. To the point where I think I threw it away. A lot of times, if I don't like products, I'll give them away to somebody. Maybe somebody else will use it. But that product, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even give it away to somebody. I honestly would not. It was so stiff. It was not a custard at all. There was no movement to that product at all. With custards, there's usually some sort of movement. That thing was stiff and it was dry. It really didn't add much definition to my hair. It sucked all the moisture out. Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know what they were thinking when they made that product. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of people did not like that product. Now, some of these products that I'm gonna name are some of people's favorites or products that people love, but that product in particular, I don't know nobody that likes it nobody and last but not least from the main choice is a product their most recent product collection that i've tried which is the must be magic i was super underwhelmed by that collection must be magic and for you to name it must be magic kind of set yourself up for that <laughs> you really did because it was not good. The product that I'm talking about is the H2O Adjusting Gel. First off, ain't no adjusting nothing. It was a cute concept. It's cute in theory, horrible in execution. The more water that you added to your hair, the less hold the gel had, and then the more, or the less water you had in your hair, then the more hold the gel had supposedly y'all that thing was dry it flaked like crazy it just was not good it had decent definition but the hold and the flaking was not good and I made sure that my hair was pretty damp because I like strong hold and it really didn't give me strong hold and so I was just thinking like for a wash and go this ain't gonna be good because I like my hair to be soaking wet and it has less hold when it's soaking wet it just just was not good at all. It comes in a tube. You get way less product than you normally get with the other, the main choices gels, because that one was only eight, eight ounces. When typically she gives us 12 ounces, it just, it wasn't good. All right, so the next product that my hair does not like from a brand that I love, I hate to do it, but I had to. This is the Unicurl Curl Fancy Curl Styling Gel, which looks like this. It had a different label before, which I actually thought was cuter than this. This is like super plain. Now the thing is, I've actually used this twice before. I've done wash and goes with this. The first time I used it, I don't really remember it being drying. I remember having some definition and my hair being like pretty moisturized underneath but the second time around when I used it my hair was dry but it wasn't dry on day one it wasn't dry on day two but day three my hair was so dry to the point where I had to go and re-moisturize my hair I think I actually retwisted my hair yeah, I went and retwist. I twisted my hair up and added moisture just because my hair was so freaking dry with this. And y'all know that I I love me some Unicurl. I love their 4 in 1 Styler. I love their deep conditioner and their like 5 minute conditioner. 
Um, I like their oil. I love their shampoo. I love Unicurl, but I just don't like this for whatever reason. My hair looked really bomb on day one. It looked good on day two, but day three is just too drying for me. I just have other gels that just work better for me, in my opinion, so. Sorry, but I, I don't like this. All right, y'all, the next product is from Bask and Bloom. Bask and Bloom is one of my favorite brands. Their Brahmi Root Deep Conditioner is bomb. Their Ease Leave-In Conditioner is bomb. All their products are bomb, except for this. And this is, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is their shampoo bar. It's not focusing. Oh, there you go. This is their shampoo bar. It's their Rasool and Bentonite Clay. Clarifies and detoxes. Because it says Rasool and Bentonite Clay, I just knew I was gonna love this, but when I used it, it just left like this waxy film to my hair. Like nobody likes that. You're supposed to clean my hair and not leave a waxy film. And I have not used this since my review. <laughs> As you can see, I still have this big old shampoo bar. I want to try it again, but I'm probably not going to, to be quite honest. It just left a waxy film on my hair and I don't like it. So, so the next product that I'm going to mention is actually from Curls Dynasty. Curls Dynasty obviously is one of my favorite brands. I love pretty much every product that I've tried from them. I love that their products are aloe based. I love that their products for the most part are glycerin free. I get my best, some of my best twist outs with their twisted definition. Like love it. Love the Kalahari leave-in. I, I love everything except for this. <laughs> and this is the Vanilla Cream Custard. I also have a review where I tried this out for a wash and go and it definitely did define my hair um, it didn't leave it super crunchy but it had hold just not like a crunchy hold but same thing with this unicurl gel after a couple of days my hair was dry dry and I used Curls Dynasty products underneath it so it's like if you don't work with your own products then you're not gonna work with some of my other products i just i don't i don't really care for this i really don't i don't like it so the next brand i'm going to talk about is curls now curls i haven't tried a whole bunch of products from them but i love their blueberry bliss line i used to love the gel i actually want to try it again and see if i still love it but i used to love the gel i love the mask I love the twist and shout. I haven't tried their leave-in. A lot of y'all say that the leave-in is bomb and that's on my list of products to try out. But this particular collection just wasn't it for me. It gave me probably one of my worst twist outs ever and I will try to insert a clip for you so you can see it but, but that twist out was not it. The collection I'm talking about is the Poppin' Pineapple collection. It just was not for me. I tried out three products. I actually don't have them. I returned them back to Walmart because I think at the time it was only available at Walmart and I returned those products back to Walmart as soon as I did the review. I was like, I don't like these products. But the products that I tried were the So So Smooth Vitamin C Leave-In Conditioner, the So So Moist Vitamin C Curl Mask, and also the So So Deaf Vitamin C Curling Curl Defining Jelly. The leave-in conditioner was meh. Deep conditioner, it was okay. I wouldn't really consider it a deep conditioner. To me, it was more of a conditioner. But the gel, the gel just it didn't define my curls. It didn't define it didn't define the twist out. I don't know and the packaging on these wasn't the greatest I just feel like a hair mask and a gel shouldn't be in a squeezy tube that doesn't have a pump that's just my opinion that collection was not it for me and it's funny because Tresses of Alexis actually recently did a braid out I think it was with the Poppin' Pineapple collection and her hair came out so cute and I was jealous I was like why didn't this collection work out for me but yeah it just I don't like it <laughs> I keep saying that obviously but I really don't like it 
Oh, Honey's Handmade. <laughs> I really do like Honey's Handmade. But this Bentonite and C Clay Deep Conditioning Mask is not it. And the thing is, is that I think it worked well in my hair as a deep conditioner. I don't think it was terrible. But the smell, the smell is what makes me not like this product. I have not reached for it since I did that review. I'm even afraid to smell it right now. <laughs> it don't smell good. This is probably one of the worst smelling products that I've ever used. Like ever. And I don't know if it truly is the product. I don't know if I got a bad batch. I don't know what it is, but I don't like the smell. It is awful. It smells like old grandma, but worse than old grandma. Like, I don't know how to really describe it. It just don't smell good. It just doesn't smell good. I don't want this lingering in my hair. No, thank you. So, from Sultanicals, I love Sultanicals. I got some of my favorite deep conditioners. The Hibiscus um, Healthy Healer Scalp, whatever the name is bomb love it one of my favorite deep conditioners <sighs> but i had a time with this product this is the mainstay hint night clay treatment many of y'all saw my review on this i don't like the instructions the instructions are confusing i don't like that this doesn't have very much slip especially because you're supposed to use it right after you shampoo or after you cleanse your hair and before you use any other products like my hair is already tangled up from shampooing so I would like for this to have slip I feel like it did define my curls for sure but it's just a hassle and I just don't have time for it um, I have not used it since it's just not for me sadly I bought two of these but the instructions just made me not like the product and that's just that. The very last brand that I'm going to talk about is actually Tailored Beauty. Their Everything Butter is everything. I use that butter from head to toe. I use it on my hair. I use it on my body. I use it on my feet. Love it. Absolutely love it. Their gel. Love the gel. Surprisingly, I do like the shampoo. The shampoo is bomb. And those are all products from their original collection. From the Golden Herbal Collection, I do like the Curl Antidote and the oil. And also, I do like the foam. The Mousse Bomb gave me the best, the best perm rods that I've ever done ever in my life. All my other perm rods that have been a fail. But these two products right here, I don't like them. The first one we're going to talk about is this penetrating leave-in conditioner. I don't like this. I really don't. It didn't do anything for my hair. It's very reminiscent to me of the leave-in from the PAL collection from the main choice. Not texture-wise because this is really kind of like watery. But as far as how it made my hair feel, it didn't really add that first layer of moisture to my hair well not really the first layer because my deep conditioner should have provided some moisture but as far as the products that I leave in my hair this is the first layer and it just don't really do it for me and it may be because the second ingredient is glycerin I feel like my hair sometimes likes glycerin and sometimes doesn't but I noticed that it does not like glycerin when, glycerin when it is like one of the top like three ingredients my hair typically doesn't like it and that's the same for this the second product from taylor beauty i actually don't have and i don't think i threw it out i don't think i used it up or did i did i use it up i don't think i used it up because i really didn't like it i it's probably somewhere in my collection and i just can't find it it's probably somewhere in my bathroom under the sink but it is from the Golden Herbal Collection. Also, it's the deep conditioner. My hair just did not like it. It feels really good going on your hair. I think it did have some slip to it as well. But when I rinsed out my hair, my hair just felt blah. Like, and I can't have no deep conditioner making my hair feel like that. Like, my deep conditioner needs to make my hair feel spectacular. 
and if you don't make my hair feel spectacular then you're not for me and that deep conditioner is not for me all right y'all so that is the end of all the products that i hate from brands that i love let me know down below in the comment section if you are like me and you have a brand that you just love but there's just that one product or two products that your hair is just like mm -mm, and you just like how did y'all create something like this <laughs> let me know down below in the comment section i'm definitely curious to see your thoughts as well um do you sell me on some of these products are some of these products not your most favorite either but yes y'all i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and as always i'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and until next time i'll see y'all in the next video bye